Bringing your dream desk setup to life, it's no easy feat. It takes time, money, and most importantly, patience. There's a lot of work that goes into making a setup look clean and organized. For me, the thing that's always top of mind when I build a new setup, it's cable management. In fact, it's something that I'm fanatical about. In my opinion, it makes or breaks a setup. I have a lot of tech with cables running everywhere and taming all of those cables is almost always a challenge, but I enjoy doing it. Cable management is something that is oddly satisfying to me, so I figured I would pass along some of my knowledge here to help you bring your dream desk setup to life. So let's get right into it. Right off the bat, the things that are going to be very useful to tame those pesky wires in your desk setup are adhesive zip ties, a roll of Velcro, a cable management tray, wire sleeves, and most importantly, a mountable surge protector. I have a really good eight outlet surge protector from Uplift Desk that's easy to install and offers plenty of outlets to power all of your gadgets. Wire sleeves aren't mandatory here, but they are useful to have around because I'm sure you'll find a use case for them at some point, whether it be behind your dresser, for your TV setup, or maybe even your gaming setup. They don't have to just be used at your desk. So first, what you're going to want to do is get a general direction as to where your wires are going. You don't want to bend and twist them a whole bunch, especially if they are permanently attached to your device. So try and find which way they are going and where you want to gently feed them to. Next, install that mountable surge protector and plug everything in. This surge protector is the secret ingredient to creating that super clean look. If eight outlets are enough for you, it should result in just one cable running down from the desk to the outlet on the wall. From there, you're gonna wanna grab that cable management tray and install it in the center underneath your desk. These are lightweight plastic trays that screw on or sometimes stick to your desk via adhesive. I would recommend screwing it in though since the wires can get a bit heavy. It shouldn't be tough at all to install. Next, put all of your wires in there and you should be able to tell that things are already looking better. You can also zip these wires in a wire sleeve as well and rest that wire sleeve in the cable management tray for an even cleaner look. Now comes the fun part with the adhesive zip ties and the Velcro. I love these things. First, find the spot where the exposed wires are going and stick a zip tie to your desk around that area. This will let you zip them up nice and tight against the surface of the desk. You shouldn't need too many of these, so this shouldn't take too long. And lastly comes the Velcro. The Velcro is used to tie up those loose wires that may be hanging around to better organize them. Just snip a small piece, wrangle it around the wires, and voila, your setup should be one step closer to looking incredibly clean and organized. I did this trick for both my work from home desk setup and studio desk where I film my videos, and things have been looking really, really good. It's the sophisticated, refined look that I've always wanted my setups to have, and it's all thanks to managing the cables that things look so neat and organized. So there you have it, my friends, a quick guide to managing cables in your desk setup. Once you get the hang of this, trust me, you're going to want to take the time to start organizing wires all over your home. It's an oddly satisfying thing to do that results in beautiful, clean, organized setups. So I do hope that you found this video helpful, and I do hope that it brings you one step closer to creating that dream desk setup that you've always wanted. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow Outrage Strasis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.